morning. A bit foggy today. So it's a busy start to today. I've got two loads of cattle to take. I can hear Andy and Em um, with a strobo, but I can't see them because it's that foggy. Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna jump in the Scania and we'll get set off. The beast, the Scania beast. It's been sat for a bit, so we're just pumping up uh, the air in the tanks and then we can get set off. Or is um, use air to work the brakes. And the suspension actually on this, so you can lift and lower the suspension with the air. Um, well, I guess it just must be a safer way than using hydraulics. And if you run out of air, the brakes just lock on. So you have to wait and uh, wait for them to pump up. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to in now. So it looks like Andy's sorting out the door, getting that down. So we'll just make sure that we're in the right place. It's like, no, we're not. It's not touched the floor. What's up? <laughs> Morning, Andy. Not in the right place again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morning, Emily. Morning, John. You all right? Mm -hmm. Bang on, bang on. So I'm off. Lights on. It's a bit foggy. Need to sort out this drive as well. Again, a few big potholes now. Get some of this tarmac chucked in. I'm gonna get a dry day. Well, I'm back in the yard now. It's coffee time. All the drill seals mugs must be in the dishwasher, I'm guessing, because we've, we've had to revert to Bomford. Um, I love it when my life lets me go shooting and then some um, autumn leaves from Marks and Spencers. Good morning without me, guys. Fantastic. You got the cows out that I need? Not yet. <laughs> really? Very good, very good. Where's your drill seals headband, Em? <gasps> Gathering dust, Andy. Andy. Up. Lucky, that one, <laughs> You'll have it on. Oh. <laughs> It'll just disappear onto Andy's head. So we're having water trough issues today. They've snapped this pipe off here in the back of the water trough and it's leaked into the pen. So I've just had to now put a stop end on there so we can turn the water back on for the rest of the farm and then we can sort this out. Oh. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Um, but it's just one of them things, this is farming, this is what you gotta do. You gotta get problems every day and then you gotta try and solve them. So the problem that we've got, I think, is that we don't have the part to put in that water trough. So we might need to put either a different one in or we've got to go on a very long journey to go and get one because the, um, the, the copper threaded bit is quite hard to get at that length that we need it. Me and Em have just got a massive parcel. Wow, this could be exciting. We'll look at this in a bit. It's not as exciting as you think. FedEx is off on their way. We better get to FedEx in some cows. In the old box of tricks, Andy's managed to find one that's the right length. Usually these are a lot shorter. If it's for like a normal toilet system, which is, is what these are basically. It's a, it's a ball cock, it's a bit mucky, isn't it? Okay. They're a lot short because they only go through a small piece of metal, but this has got to go through a quite a thick concrete trough wall. So um, yeah, I hope we'll get this put back together. I'm going to leave those guys up to that. We're going to um, get off with the lorry. It's like deja vu, I'm back in the yard again. Um, had a nice chat with a fella called Andy, where I was. Watches our channel. We'll just have a look now, see if you can see Andy and Em. I'm guessing they're on the dinner because it's half past 12 now, so. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what it looks like. What's occurring? Andy's got the uh, straw blower pulled up for some reason. I've just had my dinner, I'm totally refueled now. Um, I wanted to just mention that tomorrow uh, we're doing that live stream with AHDB. Uh, it's from eight o'clock. There's a lot of people on it. I'll try and put a photo up now and then you can see all the different people. Um, so it should be fun. We're having a good chat about labor and um, getting people into agriculture and keeping people in agriculture and things like that. And there's also gonna be one of the top bosses of AHDB there talking about the sector plans. So basically um, every farmer that's part of, who pays the levy um, got a vote and it's shaping the direction that the AHDB is gonna go. Um, you know, basically he's gonna talk us through what changes that's gonna be. So that should be interesting to, uh, 
to find out what the AHDB are going to be doing over the next two or three years um, for farming. Should be interesting and fun and maybe some people might learn a little bit about it. Right, I'm going to go and open the big box Christmas present thing that we've got here. See what it is inside it. Em's up there. She's going high vis by the looks of it. I think she's just getting a mix ready. She's coming down here. You look high visibility. Oh, cold. Is it high vis or is it just white? Oh, oh it's clean. You're cold. <laughs> Should we have a look what's in this present box? The, the big box, Em. <laughs> I've sort of given it away there. Let's check it out. There's a knife, Em. Um, See so if you can get your way in. Don't cut yourself. Have you got Stanley knife training? Yeah. Yeah. That was smooth. That was smooth. Does it have a cone? Might be going through. It's just thick with tape. Yeah. Oh, the excitement! Um, I think we should have um, we should have started this when you'd already cut it. Yeah, it's just like the anticipation. Oh, has a mouse been in? Yeah, no. oh. Oh, what have we here? Da, da, da. So you probably have no idea what that is, but uh, if you can work it, well, no, let's not say if we can work it out. We'll just tell you. It's a bumper for the lorry, so... Um, We've got that to fit. And I think there should be a step in there as well, is there? Oi, 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 oi. I mean, hey, hey, this is all right. I've got some free bubble wrap to wrap my merch up in. Do you enjoy popping pop bubble wrap? You what? What's all that about? Oh, no, no. Must be to keep it keep it safe anyway business so we can fix the lorry now time to fix the lorry ourselves because i'll have to take it into a garage then it'll have to wait there a few days then we'll have no lorry to move any cattle and um i can probably do it in an hour and a half two hours it'll probably be done um but before we do that me and i have got to clip a few of these cows because they're getting to that stage now where they're getting mucky and um we're not allowed to send them um to slaughter if they are mucky so we just got to clip the briskets and clip down the back of their legs and then hopefully they should be okay. When we get the muckier cattle like this, we have to clip all under the belly and then along the back legs as well. Basically just take, well, haul this off its side as well. Everything has to come off. So we have to cut all the muck off because um, meat hygiene basically. So the muck doesn't go onto the meat if they're making an incision on the leg or uh, on the brisket at the front. I don't know why they haven't come up with a process yet to be able to do this when the animal's been um, killed because it just makes life a lot easier. Um, or if they just didn't follow that rule, like they don't seem to follow in Ireland and all them places. I don't know if there's any Irish lads watching. Do you have to clip any of your cattle? Because from what I've been told, they don't have to. But here in England, we have to risk getting kicked and stressing the animal to clip the carcass, to clip the put the muck off this but it's a horrible job nobody likes it you can see he's not really like stressing out about it but it doesn't really need to be done does it kiddo hey good lad good lad so me and em have just been clipping the cattle uh, we've got them finished now we're going to jump on the jcbs em's going to do a mix i'm going to feed out some of the meal that's left from um this morning's mix so we're keeping everything fresh as possible and uh, yeah andy's gone home he's got some stuff to do at home so it's just me and em dream team dream team so i've just been feeding these guys they're all looking nice and happy I like to see steam coming out of the noses em's just coming round now she's putting the hay out all right Good. I'm jumping on now because she wants a bale down for the um, half a round bale and I'm just a bit worried because they're a bit high. She's understandable. She's not done this before.
So M's just in there in a high vis that's not high vis. Unwrapping the bale of hay. Have I put it in nice for you, Em? It is perfect, isn't it? I thought that. Yeah. So we're just feeding it to these new cattle so they can have as much hay as they want. And we'll get feeding up everywhere else. Using the round bales in those ring feeders because with the square ones, we tip them in. Sometimes you lose stuff out the sides. The cows end up pulling a lot out and there's a bit, bit of waste really. Um, maybe we ought to change the feeders that we use so that we can just put square bales in, but then you're taking more space in the shed and um, yeah, I don't know. We, the round bales seem to work quite well and that's why we still do the hay in the round bales. Um, even though we've got hay in the big square bales, but yeah. We prefer it in the rounds, okay? If that's what I'm getting to. That's the point I'm trying to make. What do you say, Em? You're talking crap about rounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. DM just laughing at me, and yes, I was I was stumbling myself up a little bit, so um, it happens a lot, but I'll just leave that bit in. Em's just having to go at putting the bales out. <laughs> uh, oh well, making as good a job as me, Em, eh? So you can see that the tines are folded up, and that's the reason. Do you see the bottom tines? It's going to do exactly the same when she lifts up. See that? So if she'd gone in with those straight, the bottom bale wouldn't have um, wouldn't sag down. So this time now, she's got it perfect. There we go. Just comes with practice, and uh, she'll get there. Still make mistakes like me and them hay bales earlier. Um, didn't exactly do that perfect. Didn't want to pick up four, I wanted to pick up three, but then I had, yeah. It just happens, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, I was trying to fold it up, I was under pressure with the camera. Um, it's, uh, yeah, happens to the, to the best of us, to the best of us. It's also making it difficult for herself here, because what she could do is she could put one down there, then back up, put one there, and then back up and put one there. But she's, She's put two down over there and then now she's trying to rearrange to get over to this side to put another one down. She's having to like sort of do all this rearranging. Well check this out, we got Flash Ash here. We've got Ash here, we'll have a look at what he's been up to because he sent me uh, some videos of the, was it potato cleaning? Grader, potato grader. It looks like a big piece of kit like. Here it is. Right, so we're having a few issues with water. Um, so I think it might be in this pipe again. So I'm gonna get Ash to video me because I might get wet. So you might as well have the entertainment value of it. You ready, Ash? I'm ready. Uh oh. It's coming out of there. So uh, I might try and just put it back together live, but 32 mil puts out a fair bit of water. I'm going to stick it back in. Oh, well that's as light. I think we'll call them. I don't think I'm going to get that in live. We're inspecting that pipe, it's still a problem somewhere. Um, so we're having to fill this trough here with the IBC just to make sure they've got water for tonight then in daylight tomorrow I'll have a look and find out what um, what the problem is hopefully Give up, you're wetting me So we'll just keep watching this and keep filling it up for the next half an hour or so and um, it should be right me and Ash have just finished sorting that um, and went home a bit ago um, just wanted to get enough water into them cattle it's still running the trough, which is running really slowly, so I think it might be bunged up in the roof. That's the door that you can hear there. Mm -hmm. Ash has got the door down now, so it's not rattling. 
Um, if you liked today's video, then please remember to press the like button and subscribe if you're not already. Um, tomorrow's job will be getting up in the roof and trying to unbung that pipe. But um, yeah, that's for tomorrow because it's, it's cold, it's dark. Them guys in there are happy and jobs are good. And... Right, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Are you waving, Ash? Oh, he still remembers, look, business. If you like Ash's little clip as well with the potato, press the like button. See you, bye.